Right in this video, I'm going to give you some helpful hints to how to, to do the density pressure questions. That'd be questions six through ten on the competency. So, uh, the first question is: uh, You have a solid aluminum cylinder. So, of course, that would mean that somewhere you'd have the density of aluminum. You'd have to look that up. But we we're probably going to use that in our problem. And it's a cylinder, so it looks like like this. And if you remember the volume of a cylinder would be pi r squared uh, times h. So um, the cylinder is resting on a table on one of its ends. What would be the pressure exerted on the table by the cylinder? So pressure is force over area. Um, force is uh, mass times gravity. Um, we know that uh, density equals um, mass over volume. And uh, so the mass would equal the density of aluminum times the volume of the cylinder. So what we could do for pressure is um, in for mass, we could put the uh, density times the volume, which would be, uh, whoops, pi r squared h um, times uh, gravity and that would all be over the area that it's sitting on. This The area that's sitting on would be a circle so that would be pi r squared and pi r squareds cancel out and so you just get the density times the height times gravity. Of course that'll be in Pascal's and you need to put that in uh, kpa uh, for your final answer. Okay, next problem. A uh, skier with a mass of 58 kilograms is skiing down a slope of 35 degrees above the horizontal. So we're going to have an inclined plane kind of problem here, 35 degrees. And pressure equals force over area. But you're going to need the, pre the force that is going uh, in and out of the inclined plane. We know that that's called the normal force. And the normal force in the inclined plane is mg cosine of theta. So we could uh, take that force um, and uh, <clears throat> divide it by the area. Um, let's say what the area. The area of each ski in contact with the snow is 0.13 meters squared. So this is the total force. So the total area would be point. Uh, the yeah, total total area would be 0.26. Um, so that'll give us our pressure. Uh, per ski, since we have the total force over on two skis, that'll give us the um, pressure per ski, and that of course is in Pascal also, and needs to be in Kpa. Okay, problem three: um, a box with a mass of 16 kilograms resting on the floor of an elevator. Uh, the part of the box in contact with the floor measures 0.5 by 0.15. So right away we get the area 0.5 times 0.15 pressure of course, is force over area. Um, the force is mass times acceleration over the area. Uh, the mass is uh, 16, so pressure is going to equal 16 times the acceleration. Now, this is on an elevator, and it's accelerating up into you um, at 1.5 and you're going down at 9.81 so if you think about that you might realize that you need to actually add those accelerations it would seem like that that it weighs more so we take that force and we divide it by the area which we had right here and we'd have our um, our pressure um, this pressure is supposed to be in uh, atmospheres this pressure of course will be in Pascals, and you need to convert that to um, atmospheres, I believe. Yeah, I think so. Okay, uh, problem four. A solid concrete block weighs 169 newtons and is resting on the ground with a length and width of point. So we can get an area again. Area is going to be 0 0.2 times 0 0.1. Um, a number of identical blocks are stacked on this one. What is the smallest number of whole blocks? including the one that is on the ground, that can be stacked so that their weight creates a pressure of at least two atmospheres. Two atmospheres um, is, two atmospheres would be 202.6 uh, uh, kpa, 
So it'd be 202,600 pascals. And the pressure, that's the pr that is the pressure. So that's going to have to equal your force over your area. So uh, we have the area, which is right here. So we'll have the area. The force then would be uh, 169 uh, newtons times n number of blocks. So 169 times n divided by the area that uh, they're all going to be stacked upon should equal 202,600. And you're supposed to put that into the whole number of uh, whole number of blocks. Last problem. A person who weighs 625 newtons is riding a 98 newton bike. So 620. 5 plus uh, 98, that gives you 723 newtons total. Um, on a bike, and the pressure is uh, 7.6 E5, and the force is 723. We're going to divide that by the area and figure out what the area of the bike tires would be. Now, the question says, what is the area of contact between each tire in the ground. So you're going to take that area eventually and uh, divide it by two to get the area for a uh, bicycle uh, tire. Okay, hopefully that helps you out a little bit, gives you some hints on problems six through ten.